In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, nothing different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. To me, you guys, it's more like a moment of pure epiphany, you know? Outside. Oh, hi. Welcome to the satellite. I love. Uh, we'll be right with you, okay? Rave on, Joe Robinson. Rave on, my holy fool. All right, dig this. Once there were big billows of pure spirit. I, weed, run through it like a sprinkler. I try to send it down baffles and tubes. Through accident and experiment, I work the smoke. Keeping it at my bedside like a humidifier, a steady stream. Some nights, like a dream, I'd see it sputter. The thing is just a curl now. Time to get on my shoes and find that billow of pure spirit. I traded away my smoke tools months ago. Who needs them when you got that steady stream? Commercial sign in 15 seconds. All right, we're, we're almost done. The little stream by my bed is at its end. I may not even recognize the big bale in the cold, but what good's life without some pure spirit? Commercial sign in five, four, three, two. Yes, yes. Psycho, Kelly, Funkadelic, Expiata, Dexy. <laughs> CTV presents Poker, Bilko style. Poker? Oh, is that anything like old maid? You're in with Sergeant Bilko, Saturday and Sunday at 4.30 on CTV, the comedy network. Mmm, a little cheddar makes plain veggies taste better. But take the cheddar cheese away and you can just say... No way! Because cheddar cheese makes all the difference. Hooray! On all kinds of vegetables, cheese makes all the difference. Why watch 23 movies, 60 hours of television, and go to 97 comedy clubs? When you can get all the comedy you need in just one hour on Short Attention Span Theater. It's Star of the Hour. It's Video Store. Stand up comedy like you've never seen it before. It's chock full of comedy from feature films and comedy entertainment news and tour dates. It's like 24 hours of CTV, the comedy network rolled into one. Hour, that is. So don't waste time. Watch Short Attention Span Theater and get a life. Weekdays at 8 a.m. on CTV, the comedy network. You know, I'm I'm pretty sure you guys are what it's not supposed to rhyme. It doesn't have to. Oh, oh okay. kind of like a haiku. Uh, mm -hmm. Go ahead. You uh, want to oh, do your thing? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> My name is Crow. I'm a Pisces, and I like a girl who's quiet. Slow, slow down. Uh, do you wanna? Uh, do you mind if I? Hmm? Oh yeah, that's fine. That's I'm done. Uh, well, hello, Sir Goofus von Drakesnot. How's the poetry enclave going? Still trying to teach those little bots about emotions, huh? Well, you caught us at a bad time. I'm right in the middle of finishing the elevator, and Frank's getting ready for his hat party. Mine's going to be the grandest of all. Yep. Hey, if there's one thing I've told you about those bots, only hate and snap judgment are going to guide them through the future. Uh, Dr. Forrester, you want to come over here a second and... Huh, what's this for? No! Oh, oh, man. They crushed you, didn't they? It's probably all hot and it hurts and stuff. Does this mean we get to do the invention exchange first? No, you don't get to do the invention exchange first. Uh, Frank, go and get that 
unicycle with a monster truck tire on it. Oh, you mean the one used for crushing mimes, you naughtiness? Yes, the one used for crushing mimes. Frank! Frank, don't let me fall. You make me fall, I'm gonna shove bees in your nose and bugs down your shirt. Would it help to say, I'm sorry? Frank, look at me. Okay, I'm the invention exchange this week. Are you happy now? All right, everybody gather around and take a big, long gawk at the pocket scientist. <laughs> oh, these men. Oh. Hey, nice improvisation on a standard theme. Joel? Thanks, Carl. Well, this week's invention exchange for me today is of really an organic nature. I kind of created it accidentally, really. But when you've been marooned in space as long as I have, uh, some of your personal effects can get to be a bit randy. So I came up with this, the incredibly stinky sweat socks. Wow. Oh. Works every time. <laughs> Oh, you got it. That's it. All right. Okay, put me down. Get off of me. Jerry, Jerry, lose the apron, all right? And as for you, you barnacle built for two, you're somehow responsible for my spine getting snapped. I'm all right, Frank. And so you're going to have to pay in pain. All right, Frank. And your first film, rather fittingly, is a safety film. And then we're going to follow that up with another Lippert masterpiece. Okay, Frank, I'm fine, all right? And you, mow it, you taco head. Come on, get out of here. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, we got movie side. Hmm. Hey, you don't have those stinky socks with you. Now I know who the stinky guy is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's the spot. Is that like Max the Knight? Well, I think <laughs> it's about a dog who changed his name. Oh, oh, man. Dog. Mark's. Look, huh, down there, Raymond Carver. This must be a oh, short. <laughs> and uh, Weber, the grill magnet. Okay. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a stretch there, I'd say. Me? <laughs> yeah. And George Matthews as the you beaver. do that every it's movie. Well, you know. Yeah, it's neat. It's in the contract. And who's the commissioner? Arthur W. McGee. Arthur McGee and Molly. <laughs> and these fatal traffic accidents mm -hmm. involving key workers in New Jersey war plants. When did you start having these feelings that you were a commissioner? Imperative that we open a second front. Joke. God, second I love you. I want to shout Russia. it from my oxygen tent. Is this for immediate release, commissioner? Yeah. No, sit on it for a while. The loss of life or any disabling injury to a war worker means a definite setback to our war program. If you kill yourselves here, yes, we can't kill them war. over there. We kill Sounds like Commissioner our Fudd. fellow countrymen without malice, without hatred, without thinking. Without energy, the would you wake up? Office, Come on! <laughs> to conserve the lives of the people. Mm-hmm. And to improve traffic conditions. Improve traffic conditions. Imagine, if you will, a New Jersey city with a population of My, over 20. I can 000. almost see it. Enough people to fill a large hey. stadium. Hey. Hey. Now, if every man, woman, hey. hey. child hey. were to be suddenly huh? removed hmm. by death or injury, wow, looks like you a might Gino Vanelli concert. Some <laughs> idea <laughs> of the annual traffic toll in the state of New Jersey alone. Wow. Perhaps you, you can't see it from here, but my torso is fused to a block of granite. But most of the drivers and pedestrians who were involved didn't break all the rules. Just some. Just once in a while, they were careless or inconsiderate. Oh, they didn't want to live in New Jersey anymore. But just take... Oh? Yes, driving and walking in modern traffic is often careless, inconsiderate, and from the other... But I get a view, kick out of it. Sometimes fantastic. <laughs> It's fabulous. It's a bit fantastic, too. It's about a car. Bing. Huh. It's called Parallel car. Universe. The kind you need these days to get home in. <laughs> Neat. And it must be a safe car. One this one checks out. <laughs> and then there's a driver. Whoa. A guy named Joe Doe. Hi, how you doing? I'm Joe. See ya. Yeah, he does look familiar. Yep. Sure, he lives on your street. In fact, he's well, under your bed right now. Day... <gasps> oh. Oh. Sorry. Well, don't get sore, Joe. Just absent-minded, left mm -hmm. his car in gear. Let it go. 
Oh. Well, what do you know? He uses so the Braille system. Yep. That a boy, Joe. I'll ten. Mm -hmm. Maybe Joe will be different this time. Oh, oh, oh this is scary. Pulling away from the curb. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. day. Well, as we were saying, Joe didn't have much patience in traffic. Nope. Joe used to say, If you're going to bury a body in a shallow grave, make sure you use quick line. To the right <laughs> well, to now take that. a situation like this. If Joe were in a hurry, it seemed there was always somebody in his way. Some inconsiderate guy. Yep. Well, if you can get around him and beat that light at the next corner. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? And here's a blast. Hot dog. I got a date with light. death. There goes the light. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You see how it is? As Joe <laughs> yep. often said, these Oh, positions I've enjoyed this good natured drive. ribbing. Thank enough. you. Thank you very much. Thanks for almost killing me. Yeah, you. That's it. Take me to 3rd Street. Huh? As Joe says, oh, traffic you, these Joe. days would drive a guy nuts. Ah. Like that. Didn't even close the door. Hey. Oh, what a it's crazy Guggenheim. <laughs> well, let's leave Joe to straighten this one out while we get off of the story. Now, there was a street intersection not far from where Joe lived. Called Blood he Alley. It every day. No signals or stop signs. Not much traffic. One of those places where nobody bothered to slow down. Made a you good feel place happy. for an accident. Any Here comes a car now from one direction. Hey, and, huh? what? Uh oh. Here ah. comes Joe from the other. Let's and watch the fun. Down, we think the choke right will be on <laughs> Joe. Oh. I guess he can't be a witness. Uh, 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 All right, folks, there's a two drink minimum now. Joe Dokes, a neighbor of mine. He's got a lovely wife and two beautiful children. Now I make my move. Seemed like a swell guy, Joe did. Except when he ate. Hmm? Show's over, cup, or maybe not. Joe? Crypto Joe. It wasn't my fault. I had the right of way. Oh, tell it to the corpse, yeah, pal. Hmm? I was only doing 15 miles an hour. Yeah. Hey, where is that guy? Oh, he's with your wife, Joe. I've been a careful driver all my life. Yeah. Ask my wife, she'll tell you. I've been driving for 15 years, and I never... Hey, is that Patrick never... Swayze's father? Huh? Are you George Bailey? Right, oh, sorry, wrong film. No use wasting time with these mortals. They can't help you hey, anymore. Hey, it's Elton John. Yeah, my neighbor's hell. my friend. Huh. I know. Yeah, you used to know him. Yeah, they're it's your pallbearers uh, now. Come on. Take my uh, hand. See, Daisy. We've got some tall explaining to do. Do you think they're going to talk about how ugly that guy is? Hmm. Come on, let's go talk to Hamlet's dad. There's Mr. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now over there, that's Mick Jagger's cloud. Stay off of it. Now, this isn't one of those high school dreams where they're going to have him walk around naked or... I don't you know, think so. Got a class he forgot about until now. Huh. What is this, an ice rink all of a sudden? Whoa! I'll be with you in a moment. I'm just sealing some fates. Today in Dead People's Court. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, pardon your, uh, Mr. God? Sir. Uh, dear diary, it's hard being God, huh? Oh, later. Oh, where are your skates, boys? Oh, my line, sorry, and my hat, excuse me, Your Honor, uh, oh, your sir. Good morning, sir. There are no good mornings here. I'll decide if it's a good morning or what not. What was your name? What was my name? Hmm? You mean, sir, I'm finished? Or washed up? Oh, well, that depends on the evidence. Oscar Wiggle Buckley? Uh, your holiday. name? Huh? Joseph Doak, sir. Joseph oh, Doak. Joseph Funny neighbor, Doak, huh? Sir. Hmm. Dokes. Dokes. Let's Dokes. see. There's Dokes. dickweed, dog, dump, shit. Ah, Dokes. here it is. Joe Dokes. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you were born in New Jersey, eh? Hmm. I thought I smelled something. Your age? I'm going to be 36 on my next birthday. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> next right. birthday? Boy, God sure has a crummy office, doesn't he? Hmm. Hey, he wasn't That's good all here the for another 20 now. years. <laughs> yeah. Fine guardian you turned out to be. Why, if it wasn't for me, Your Honor, he'd have been here years ago. Worst driver in New Jersey, and you expect me to keep my records show no convictions against this man. Oh, he might go he's free. Yeah, well, he right, did a favor for that's Sinatra right, once. Mm. I've been driving for 15 years. Oh, silence. The court isn't interested in your opinion. Oh. Proceed. Don't you see, Your Honor, that record of no convictions only proves how well I've guided him. 
You see, I stopped a cow with my face once. My forehead's all bondo. Well, he wasn't a bad fella. No. Good natured egg. Egg? Kind to his family. Hot boy. Very considerate of everyone. (laughs) Oh, trap off it. You see, Judge, I'm not such a bad guy. Please let me go back. Just this once. Mm -hmm. Besides. Oh, he's he's got a gun! gun. I got almost a full book of eight coupons left. Well, you should have presented those immediately upon ordering. Let's get on with the charges. Pizza or MasterCard? <laughs> How was he on remembering to give signals? Uh, oh, he admitted the body of the letter, On huh? signals? Well, only fair. Quite a few black marks against him. But when it came to sounding his horn, he was pretty bad. He was always sneaking up and scaring the wits out of pedestrians. Don't get me I wrong, I enjoyed that. Driving. Hmm. I brought I a clip. I don't think it needs any setup. I called for more caution in driving in the daytime, but I couldn't get the first base with him. It was our first day. What a night. The glare of his headlights did to other drivers. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of little things here, Your Honor, but... Well, then what the hell are you wasting my time for? I don't for? show much consideration for the other guy. Hmm. A perfect description of the average driver. Joe was all right until he got out on the highway. Then he was an entirely different person. He became he alarmed by my chances. mottled face and bumpy skull. Careless, impatient, irritable. I can't say that Joe was out looking for trouble, but... But I did find him down by the waterfront, dressed in a spot costume. Give him. Kitty, kitty. Darn. You know, I'm thinking of growing uh, a goatee. That description fitted someone else I know. If you know who I mean. Hitler. Uh, no, he drove a yes, stick. Your Honor. Uh, I had to learn the hard way, too. Hey, Shut up. I'm, I'm Jack. Jack. Benning. Weekdays at 1.30 on, uh, um... When this was Grandfather's desk, every week I'd help Grandma polish it with pledge. I'd spray, she'd wipe, and together we'd bring out its beautiful shine. Now that the desk is mine, I use touchable pledge, so even smears just disappear. Pledge, still shining after over 30 years, with no buildup. And with touchable pledge, smears just disappear. Grandma's gonna love it. Also try new anti-static pledge dusters, the quick way to grab and hold more dust. CTV presents London Underground, a brand new half hour of stand-up. It's an incredible act! American comics perform cheek by jowl with their English counterparts. I mean, religion is basically guilt with different holidays. I'm Jewish born and bred, except on Passover when I'm Jewish born and unleavened bread. Very. If my dad's the only man in the world that can make a Jehovah's Witness go, you know, we gotta get out of here. Don't miss London Underground, a revolution in stand-up comedy. Friday at 8, only on CTV, the comedy network. The toughest job I had with Joe was his speeding. Yeah, he was I worse than Corey Feldman or Even Corey Hayes. If he did keep within legal speed limits, he might still be going too fast. Oh, for you know, such as oh, down the church, backward stars, cross. Oh, that was great. Momentum was just another name in the physics book as far as Joe was concerned. Hey, that was a low blow. Judge, if I weren't a ghost, there were times when I would have been scared to death. <laughs> Joe's specialty was a right turn from the center of the street. Uh-oh. He used to wow him with that one. He was great. He was never what an artist. Never concerned about the drivers he cut wow. off. Or the pedestrians who had the right of way at the Whoa. curb. Wow. Oof. Then when we'd approach a stop sign, he'd never stop dead. Oh, no. He'd come down to a slow road. Hey, he feels bad enough. And then give it the gas. And then give him the bird. 
<laughs> However, he did learn one thing that seemed to stick. Gum. <laughs> one day we were driving in a residential section, approaching the playground of a school. Uh -oh. Without any warning, a ball bounced out directly in front of I'm the car. I'm huge. And right behind it came a kid. The little fella disappeared behind a hood of the car. <laughs> Joe jammed on the brakes. Ooh. Started to jump out of the car. Mm. Then the little boy ran out with a ball clutched in his With a skull clutched in his hand. A close call. Joe slumped back into the driver's seat. He said a silent prayer to Bongo, the god of gravity. After that, I never had any <laughs> trouble with Joe around school. He'd crawl by at a snail's pace. Nursing homes, though. Whoa! See look you, out! Man. Joe had two kids of his own at that school. And if his wife yeah. ever found out... They're please. all that way when it gets close to home. A pity they don't always drive as though their own families were in danger. You make me sick. There was another bad habit Joe had. Oh. Huh? Oh, hold it, you'll want to hear this. This is good. <laughs> I love Fibber McGee and Molly. And at the halftime, well, injuries are ahead of fatalities here in New Jersey. <laughs> Makes you think, I'm uh, so ashamed. <laughs> wow, looks like uh, Nixon's enemy list. Scratch another one. Hurts, doesn't it? So, go on with your little story. Go ahead, puny man. As I was saying, so, one of Joe's worst habits was hogging the center of the road. If some driver behind Joe honked his horn, well, Joe would lose his temper and start to put on speed. But if Joe was behind some other mm. driver, well, that was different. Mm. Yeah. He'd cut out with a burst of speed, not knowing what was behind or in front of him. Then one day, we were behind another car, climbing a steep hill. See? Joe became impatient, and then came the truck. Joe saw the danger. Oh, he was always quick to see the danger to himself. The truck was bearing down. Joe got back suddenly. Whoa. He made it. But the poor guy behind The him poor guy was, was James the Dean, road. the end. Sorry, even a ghost <laughs> has feelings. Well, I was so disgusted with his selfishness that Why I almost I booted him right in his there. front seat. If I hadn't given you my solemn promise to stick it out with him, I would have. Just relax now. Take it easy. Sorry I blew up you like that. You won't have to drive it anymore. Um... By the way, what are you doing Friday did night? Did you ever drive when he'd been drinking? Oh, boy, I need my other scroll for that. That's a doozy. Oh. Well, sir, he... Got in? I want the whole truth. So help me, me. Well, sir, <laughs> Joe did take a nip occasionally. Hmm? He wasn't really what you'd call a drinker. Just a cocktail now and then. Just a half <laughs> gallon now and then. Tie, Your Honor. <laughs> Yes, I know how the boys are. And I know where the boys are. I have a book full of those just a cocktail or two drinkers. Turks wouldn't let me in their club. Drivers and pedestrians, too. Dead ones. Big ones. Just a cocktail or two. Fool! Any abnormal physical or mental condition due to drinking liquor is, is intoxication in this state. <laughs> the careless driver or pedestrian is He's usually creepy. careless. Regarding the other fellow's rights and safety. But as to his own safety and well-being, mm -hmm. he's downright selfish. Ha! <laughs> now, dilute that dangerous frame of mind with just a cocktail or two. Oh, okay, thanks. And he I'll even forgets about his own safety. That is one of the reasons why that... going to be on the uh, final... Kicked off a traffic accident in this state. Hey, if we're talking mob murders, we'd be digital. <laughs> Incidentally, was there any traffic rule he didn't violate? Oh, yes, sir. I never hit and run. Oh, well, that changes everything. And if you had, you would have been booked in... <clears throat> in phlegm? In what? a lower court. Oh. So you never hit and run. Why, that's so despicable an act. That's but I cool. wouldn't even accuse you of doing it. Never hit and run. Why, I ought to Was throw his car that. regularly inspected? Yes, sir. Hey, yeah. I'm no commie. Oh, yeah. At the last minute. Uh -huh. But you'll never know how I had to nag at his conscience to get him over for an inspection. Why, I had to throw all the statistics in the book at him. 
Ooh. Over 256,000 cars rejected for punk oh, steering Joe. gear. And over 800,000 cars rejected for dangerous brakes. And over 1,400,000 <clears> cars <throat> uh, okay, rejected for bad Okay, thank you, Mr. Spock. Lights. And those figures always got him. Uh-huh. Well, here's proof that I got him to keep his car in good running condition. He can't blame his accident on his car. Well, uh, we'll mark that Exhibit B. And I'll slit my wrist with it, because I'm bored by this whole thing. Exhibit A. I've heard about enough of him as a driver. Now, how, how is he as, he as a, a cocktail waitress? Well, hmm? sir, as a pedestrian, he was different. As a driver, he thought he owned the highway. But as a pedestrian, he knew he owned it. Oh. He'd weave through traffic like a mouse through a maze. Squeaking and calling He's himself Algernon. behind a wheel. And heaven help the driver who might come close enough to frighten Joe. And bless the beasts and the children. One day we were at a busy intersection. My mind was on other things for a minute. As the red light flashed on, Joe got away from me and started diagonally across the intersection. So. Now, instead of walking over to this corner, and then over to this corner, mm -hmm. Joe decides to take the shortcut. He had, uh... Just about reached this point. That's when he stepped into a wormhole and was transported to the 16th century. <laughs> I see. You uh, tried to get here earlier, eh? Mm. Yes, sir. He almost made it, too. He found out the hypotenuse of a triangle in traffic is the shortest road to the hospital. Oh, that was a good one. Ah, you looked like a hamburger that time. Two long, happy months. My only rest in the 15 long years that I had to spend with that guy's conscience. Oh. Ah, what happy days. <sighs> there I was without a care in the world. Hmm. Get Just on with it. that. Out of traffic, Jeez. it was wonderful. But, of course, all good things come to an end. Including the wildwood weed. Well, oh, for the next yeah. few weeks, Joe was the perfect pedestrian and driver. Then why not he, he uh, uh. stayed up with a sick friend? What's <laughs> that? Well, uh, well, he got plowed, he okay? Had a cocktail or two, but maybe it was like he said, it was the hamburgers he ate. Anyways, the next morning, his head throbbed so hard I almost felt it. He was higher than and Judy Garland. He got behind the wheel of his car. And that had to be his last day, Your Honor. Oh, what a fish. He really went to town or somewhere. He landed right on the X. Well, that takes fault, direction. Mm -hmm. From sheer exhaustion, I closed my eyes for just a fraction of a second. Uh huh. I failed you, sir. Well, who's on trial down, here? I was so weary, nothing seemed to matter. Oh. Fifteen years... On a dead man's chair. Joe Dope <laughs> driving kind of conscience. Sir. Is punishment enough, even for a ghost? You have completely paid the penalty for your own carelessness in traffic. You are now a free ghost. See the clerk and free leave ghost. the gown. Go? I Free can go. Goes. Oh, oh, thank you, sir. Let's do it. What a relief. What a huh? relief. To hell with Joe. I'm out of here. <laughs> he was out uh, with the... It's high noon. Oh, that's the angel leaving. He's dead now. Oh, I think that's okay. James Dean. Or Isadora Duncan. Or maybe Jane Mansfield. Hmm. Can I watch some TV now, Grandpa? Stop it. Stop what? it. What? What am I, I doing? What? What? Oh. Stop it. Oh, I wish I could stop it. Oh, I wish I were dead. Uh, oh, I am. <laughs> Joseph Dokes, Where? as to passing sentence upon you, I must leave that to this jury of drivers and pedestrians. Oh, guilty. Yeah. Hang him. Uh, String him up. And get the director, easy. too. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Sure, he. Huh? Before you retire to pass... Oh, that's great. We're stranded in space, and we still Please have to pull jury duty. Everything not me. Hey, this is important. Pay attention. Shh. He right. was kind and considerate to everyone. Except his grandmother Except and the kitty. Come on, let's <laughs> get out of here. Come on. I'm going out of here. Shh. You're going to hang around. You can stay, Crow. I got to see. He was inconsiderate on dimming his headlights. He wasn't too careful about speed. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He seldom came to a full stop. I remember at that. Stop sign. Yeah. He frequently hogged the road. Hogging and the road, right? I remember. Passed on hill. Uh, I must say, in his favor, 
that he did have regular car inspections. Yeah. And now, <laughs> most importantly, before you hand in your verdict, think. Consider carefully your own qualifications as a driver yeah. and a pedestrian. My qualifications? Are you qualified? Am I qualified? Judgment. Oh, oh. On Joe. Yeah, I don't know. Am I qualified? Qualified. Qualified. Mm. Wow, what a question. Me, Crow T. Robot, what do I think? Am I qualified? Wow, that's a heavy burden. How can I make a difference? Can I make a difference? Oh, surely I'm but a single bot, alone, as it were, in the vast universe thing. Maybe I can change the world. Perhaps I've looked at life from upside down. Hmm. Hey, Cambot, move it in a little and uh, cue that uh, moody music. Well, what would Joel do in a situation like this? No, 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 no. I've got to learn to think for myself. To stand on my own two foot like appendages. Seize the day, yeah. Think globally, act locally. Yes, by God, I can do it. Why, I could start a letter writing campaign. Yeah, that would help. And uh, I could organize a bake sale or a... Uh, hey. We could all help. Come on, friends, run to your window and shout, I'm really cheesed and I'm not gonna hang around till this thing gets better. Uh, why, organize a improv group and do guerrilla theater at the food court at your mall. Uh, dress a little differently, uh, make it more exciting for you and your spouse. Or, here's an idea, toss a little Cajun spice into the party mix and watch the fun. Uh, put on a one-man show and talk about your true inner feelings in an emotionally charged, gut-wrenching, autobiographical account of your warped adolescent, and then watch the grant money come in. Woo! But don't snap judge me. And then watch that, uh, uh, I know, put a drop of vanilla behind each ear and you'll smell like a cookie all day. Or, uh, eat an apple, nature's toothbrush. Ask Mr. Owl how many licks it tastes to get to the Tootsie Center. Um, have you met everyone on your block? Now would be a nice time to start, don't you think? Hmm? In the classroom, slide your desks together and create an ecology symbol. Um, police the lives of those around you and uh, get your sensibilities way the heck out of whack. Parade up and down the street in your underwear. Impose your ideals on others. It's easy. Crush someone with an emotional word or an enigmatic look. You decide. You do it. I'm sick of this. I can't make a decision. I'm no good at this sort of thing. It's up to you. I'm passing the buck to you. And I've got commercial sign. Oh. The pain, the pain. <sighs> most guys would tell you they don't really think about their hair. Right. Personally, I think most guys want their hair to look good, as long as it's not a hassle. That's where Perd Plus comes in. It's a unique shampoo and conditioner in one. So, you get clean, more manageable hair than with plain shampoo, but without any extra work. That's Perd Plus. Hey, I admit it, I think about my hair. But it's not all I think about. Wash and go with Pert Plus. Also in dandruff control. Hello, hello, hello. Look out, the little rascals are back. They've been everybody's favorite for over 50 years. And now these mischief makers can be yours on home video through this special television offer. <laughs> with two complete episodes on each cassette, the first video in your collection is yours for only $4.95. About every four to six weeks, receive another cassette to add to your collection. Buy only the videos you want, cancel at any time. Start off your library with a bang. Horse around with the gang and honky donkey. Also in this first video, see Spanky and Alfalfa clean up their acts and spruce up. Each video contains two great titles, and remember, your first cassette is only $4.95. Call now to get a running start on the fun. Here's how to order. Start your Little Rascals video collection with the double episode cassette featuring Hunky Dunky and Sprucing Up for only $4.95 plus shipping. Credit card orders call 1-800-726-6000. Sorry, no CODs. That's 1-800-726-6000. Order now. SCTV. Okay, let's roll. Where ordinary television... Boring. And I mean bad. ...doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> SCTV. <laughs> it's music. It's dance. It's 
magic. Love to do the magic. SCTV. The whole concept falls into the arena of good fun. SCTV, tonight at 1 a.m. on CTV, the Comedy Network. Yikes. Mom's extending us a welcome. French fried potatoes. <laughs> King oh, Dinosaur. Breakfast with the king. You okay, Crow? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What, what is this? Brian Curtis? King yeah. Dinosaur. Yeah, King Dinosaur. Oh. The Lippert film. Ah! Yep, 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 yep. We know. That's pretty sad, huh? Oh my God. Marvin Miller, this must be his crossing <laughs> with the <laughs> movie and the yeah. Joel, Ethan Cohen. And, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. There's a Donald, there's a lot of zimblets in this film. I think there was some nepotism. There's Ralph Helper right here. He's a big cow <laughs> again with the heifer. And the, uh, Ah, based on an original story by August Strindberg. <laughs> Beast from outer space, his first wife. Tom cries and the whole world cries with him. That's as bad as mine. Well, there's Albert I and Zimbalist Gordon. Their credit. Oh, I'm filled with wonder. These titles have whisked me away to a magic land. Oh, oh don't go away, titles. On April 23rd, the word to start comes from Washington. Start. And immediately, our finest <laughs> research laboratories change over to this all-important project. The building of a passenger carrying rocket ship. Every security measure is taken. Hmm. You see what you hear when you leave. Burma shave. Hmm. Test upon test must be made to develop, improve, create, the invent. ultimate morning zoo radio show. A jet engine must be built with a thrust great enough to launch the spaceship through the many miles of Earth's atmosphere. If you lean to the it side, this looks like a burning to building. And the pressures found in outer space. And the world's largest roll on the order was invented. Of unusually <laughs> favorable atmospheric conditions, <laughs> Professor Albert Garnett is able, with the world's largest telescope, to photograph an extremely clear view of the new planet. But he had his thumb it over is the now lens. It's certain that plant life of some kind definitely exists there. Tony Danza, the Professor, for incidentally, is also credited with naming the new planet. Planet Allen. Planet Nova. Oh, oh. close. New metals must be developed with tensile strength oh, capable of withstanding great that. atmospheric yeah. pressures. Oops. Switch on for jet engine test number 87. Oh, so the announcer is calling the shots now? <laughs> uh, I think their dryer is off kilter. Yeah. yeah. Structural weaknesses are studied. Tested. Oh, here are the effects of 13 rum and diet cokes are tested. Every conceivable <laughs> test for man and machine alike is run the gauntlet. There is no margin for error. There is a margin for shame, however. Special equipment is developed. Then this nuclear it. power plant will serve as an auxiliary source of electricity while our people are on the planet. <laughs> Actually, because it is activated by atomic power, uh, it could supply their earlier. needs for many years uh, yeah. if something were to go wrong and Come their on, return like to Earth dashboard. were delayed. Oh, Naturally, the people <laughs> must be careful in using such equipment. Because if the atomic power were allowed to go unharnessed, an atomic fission reaction would take place. Ooh. An atom explosion. Ooh. Better one? Mm, better four? A time yeah, clock is the controlling watch. mechanism yeah. for this reaction. Well. They, of course, will understand its use and therefore minimize the any danger. The Brady House, built tall and strong. Yeah. Huh? Pressure vaults are constructed to simulate the pressures found in space. And the pressures of my desolate, lonely life sitting for hours alone in a sound booth. Record every vibrating pulse. Oh, oh yes. 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 Turbojet engines used in assisting takeoffs of our giant bombers are studied. But there lies the greatest problem mm. blasting the uh, ship. Looks off like the he's burning some oil. Out of Earth's Doesn't gravity yeah. pull. Then German air shows are performed. Hundreds are killed. <laughs> First test rocket is ready. Switch on for launching. Hey, they flew it out of the Eiffel Tower. Rocket <laughs> test number two. That was number two! Mm. <laughs> this rocket carries animals. White animals? mice. Hi, my name is Benji and I'm a ten dimensional is still being. Present to hold the mice and little ball downward toward Earth. <laughs> now the mice are floating in air since they are now beyond Earth's gravity pull. Hey, why do we have to do all the work? I'm not feeling too good. The test proves out. Yeah. 
animals can live in space. It's man's what are you, turn man next or to mouse? take the Put some keys risk. down there and you'll find out. The spaceship is ready now for its passengers. Hey, huh? Keith Richards. If animal life is found on the new planet Nova, an expert on zoogeography would be a most important member of the space expedition. On August 10th, Dr. Richard Gordon was chosen to fill that position. He became famous with his discovery of the giant prehistoric tar pits near Salt Lake City just two years ago. I'd say this patient is dead. I'm no expert, but dead's the word. The study of rock formations and its minerals is like reading the personal diary of a planet. Yes, it's Dr. not very Nora polite. Dr. Pierce joined the space expedition on August 27th. Her doctorate in mineralogy was awarded for her mineralogical research in the Himalayan mountains. And she's cute. cute, too. That yeah. same day, the giant spaceship was being wheeled into position Fire. for its space flight, which was now a matter of weeks Painted up by hand. Nice color. Yeah, lovely. Great fins. Medicine must be represented on this expedition. Because they'll the need drugs. People and the people that will venture into space in the future is of primary importance. Okay, you may spit now. Dr. Ralph Martin's war service fortified him with the experience of treating most diseases and fatalities that overtake men. Yeah, he's that cute, is too, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Real cute. The chemistry of the new planet was to be studied by Dr. Patricia Bennett, who completed the group of scientists. Drink it. Drink it. She was noted for her thesis on the use of radiochemistry in medicine. And Dr. Uh, Bennett she's the cute, group on too. September 12th. <laughs> Hmm. Dirty. On October 1st, it was observed that the position of Nova was in the most advantageous location for our purpose. The ship <laughs> must blast off within 24 hours. Or someone's going to pay. Oh, brother. Uh-oh. Is Kooky the clown <laughs> on the premises again? It's Attention. <laughs> It's me, the announcer. This time I'm coming from a different speaker. will please report to the ship. Blast off is in X minus 20 minutes. Will the artist please come to the stage, please? I wonder what this button's for. Oh. Attention. Blast off in X minus five hey, minutes. Hey, look, it's Woodstock. Three days of peace, love, and stock footage. <laughs> Stay away from the towers. <laughs> you look neat. <laughs> Ten seconds, tick away. The stock footage is rolled. Blast off in X minus all one. All right, minute. all right, I know. Huh? A new pope is selected. It's kooky. Neat. Five, four, oh, oh, three, oh, two, oh, 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 one. Hey, what? A fast count. Huh. Well, maybe you should take your foot off the clutch. There you go. Hard to get it out of first. Yeah. Oh, it's German rock. You want to make more money? Of course, we all do. So find out how easy it is to train at home for a better career. Just get a pencil and paper right now and write down this toll-free number. There's absolutely no obligation and no salesman will visit you. At International Correspondence Schools, more than 10 million men and women have trained for job promotions and new careers without setting foot inside a classroom. And now at home, in your spare time, you can get your career diploma, even your degree. Choose from any one of these courses. High school, TV, VCR repair, computer programming, child daycare, auto mechanics, bookkeeping, learning the personal computer, electrician, legal assistant, veterinary assistant, interior decorating, medical dental office, gun repair, secretary, journalism, art, conservation, drafting, hotel restaurant management, travel, fitness and nutrition, or get your degree. You can major in business management, accounting, or electronics. 
Compare your present salary with the money you could be making in any one of these careers. They'll be repeated for you at the end of this commercial, so have your pencil ready to jot down the course you're most interested in. Then call the ICS toll-free number, and we'll send you one of these exciting career packs absolutely free with all the information you need. Your career pack explains how easy it is to study at home, tells you about the many success stories of other people just like yourself who have trained through ICS and got better jobs. And that's not all. You'll also see the exciting learning materials included in your course at no extra cost. They make it easy and fun to train for that better career. Here are those courses again, so call today for free information. Here are those courses again, so call today for free information. Call now for free information on any one of those courses. Then decide if you want to train at home for a better career to make more money or advance in your present job. Call 1-800-435-1300. Operators are on duty now to send you free information by return mail. Choose any one of these exciting careers. That's 1-800-435-1300. Call now. If you like your comedy up close and personal... Oh, cool, my parents are thrilled about that. Then welcome to the club. Party! I'd rather pass a kidney stone. <laughs> coming to me. Join host Will Schreiner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And America's Funniest Comics. Any hecklers? The best of the U.S. Comedy Festival. Ah! Two drink minimum. Saturday at 6 on CTV. I believe by the end of this decade we will land a piece of stock footage on another planet. Ask not what a process shot can do for you. Very good. Uh-oh, it's a handicap spot. <laughs> hey, and it's not close enough to the mall. Uh-huh. Guys, I think they landed in Wisconsin. Yeah. Mm. Uh, they just discovered Grizzly Adams. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one small step for a man. Uh, one giant step into a cow pie. <laughs> Ew. Over. <laughs> Cute, huh? They're going all this way just to make out in a field? Mm. Uh, well? Uh. At least their face shields are interlocking. <laughs> hey, Joel, is she a bubble-headed blonde? Oh, uh, yeah. We're first. And foremost. Thank God we made it. Mm. Is it as lovely as it seems? Well, yes, no, it's heaven. Yeah. No. An active volcano. Maybe. This planet is quite young, Pat. Hmm. Uh, I mean, uh, Dr. Pat. They're getting kind of informal. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. We're going to start our test, Dick, to see if it's safe to remove our suits. What, what did he just say? Your instruments are on their way down. Hurry up with the tests so Nora and I can get out and join you, huh? Yeah, we want to frolic in the raw, too. <laughs> oh, thank goodness the time counts to be safe. Oh, why is he blow drying the grass, guys? Because he can. Oh. Hmm. Hey, look, honey, there's change everywhere. This is better than Coney Island. Hmm. I, uh, this is smokable. Mm hmm. High grade, uh, hydro, uh, chunky black. Hey. Hey, I can see my brain. Oh, let's see what this one is. Origin of a Planet. Oh, I've got that on CD. Is there like fountain around here? A preliminary biological study made of the air on Nova mm -hmm. show the indications of microscopic life not too different from that found on Earth. However, approximately 40% of the bacteria was completely unfamiliar. Test for radiation gave a reading of approximately 10% above normal background count. Joel, I'm tripping. Oh, no, it's just a photo process. Indicated oh, less than a tolerable percentage. Temperature, 78 degrees. deleted. 18 minutes Air was pressure, deleted from this tank. pounds per square cook. inch. Although our preliminary tests are in no way conclusive... Or any good at all. substantiate, however, that human and animal life as we know it on Earth can exist in the atmosphere and environment of planet Nova. The end. Ah, oh, they taped over the Beatles' Berlin tapes. Uh, now, let's get out of these suits. And into a dry martini. Dick, Nora, the atmosphere checks out all right. It's safe to come out. Hmm. 
She means, uh... <laughs> High five. Oh, that's patty cake. That's the international symbol for off with your clothes. Oh, what a day. Uh, patty, I'll cover your rear. The air's a bit rich in oxygen, notice? Mm. Yep, I'm high as a kite. Anyway, it'll speed up our reaction. Oh, you take care of your own reactions, Dr. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Anything, Nora? This is just great. Mm -hmm. There's animals right here. <laughs> yeah, quite terrible. There must be plenty of water. <laughs> oh, <great. there. laughs> mm -hmm. Huge. Listen, I saw a lake over in that direction before we landed. Let's go over and take a look. Uh, I All think right. you mean you saw a clip of a lake. Everyone got a date? Uh, let's have that progressive dinner we were talking about, huh? Let's just throw all the research out the window. Look, birds. They look like vultures. Yeah, death loving vultures. Hmm, neat. Look at that tree. <laughs> Wish I could do that. I envy him. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Pan. Pan. <laughs> Well, there it is, just like I saw on the scope. Pretty a lake as anyone would want. And it's all private. Restricted. But what about that island? Oh, strange looking place. Wow, it Looks must like it's covered be with heavy scary. jungle. Growth. No sun over there. I'd no like sun to have a look at that when we have time. I don't see why, Nora. All they want in Washington are tests and samples from wherever we land. And a few neat they souvenirs. They didn't say anything about extensive exploration. You conservative doctors. Hey, we're well, neoconservative doctors. I don't care. All I can see is that water, and that means a bath, Nora. And let's get some clean clothes and have one, huh? Oh, <laughs> oh for fun. Ah, ladies first, please. Oh, you got a lot of them. Let's go. Who brought the sandwiches? Sandwiches? Yeah, quite a package he's got there. <laughs> Much further? I want some samples from that rock strata. I'm Chirpy, the mutant hell beast, and I don't like this film. Get away. Fifteen minute break, everybody. Lippard rules apply here. I love these. Ah, thank you, Captain Cutaway. What time would you say it is? Uh, time to kill something. Okay, it's about three o'clock Earth time here. Judging by those Except birds. We don't know how many hours there are on the daily cycle here. You know, this place could move around faster than our Earth. Well, let's figure for three o'clock anyway. That gives us three or four hours before dark. Besides, I decided I'm the new god of this planet. Oh, welcome. Oh. Six. Well, that crossing's further than we thought. Well, a couple of more miles should bring us there. A couple of more miles as the crow flies, but five miles up and down those hills. I symbolically represent the pace of this oh, film. Hmm. I'm making pretty good time, considering this is a Lippert film. And there, on the handle, was some stock footage of a hook. <laughs> what do you think, Nora? Hmm. About the age of this place? Mm -hmm. Ranger Guess was right. It's pretty young as planets go, much younger than our Earth. Uh, could you be a little more vague, Nora? Prehistoric. Hmm. Are you serious, Nora? Look, let's get out of here and get back to the hmm. ship. I'm scared to death, and I don't mind admitting it. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Nora, dedicated you Scientist. Yes, for the kind of preliminary survey they want. I can get more information while the rest of you are working. While the cat's away, the mouse will play. Oh. That island. I hate I it. It's taunting me. Well, vegetation certainly looks different from that around here. Mm. Maybe we can pay it a quick visit before we leave. Mm -hmm. uh, be let fun. the next people pay it a visit. Let's get back to the ship, get out of here before something awful Let's happens. Let's all get out of here. Yeah, we, yeah. Do it, we, we want them to find an important scientific way? discovery. It doesn't get dark too soon, we're all right.
Say hello to the new kids on the block. Hello? Hello? Hiya! But don't panic. I mean, I'm only cutting your hands. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh, let me catch my breath for a second. Now, is that anything to be ashamed of or disgusted by? It's the kids in the hall. It'll be fun. I'll cuss your head. <laughs> the kids in the hall, Saturday at 11 p.m. Eastern, only on CTV, the Comedy Network. Avery Highland's Patty Bear, known as something of a free thinker, heard that Tabasco sauce makes the taste of a thousand and one foods livelier. And while he means no disrespect, he counts only 943. Make that 944. A lively taste of Tabasco sauce. Don't keep it bottled up. Grandma, what's butter for? So my cookies will taste special for the family reunion. Why? Butter makes them taste better. Why? Butter's natural. Here, taste delicious. Because it's butter. Real butter makes family reunions taste even better. Stop the music. These mystical power crystals can be yours free from Time Life Books. Hang on and we'll be back. For all you've given What's up? Incantation. Native Americans believe there's spiritual energy here. Ben uh, Randall on Time Life Life's series, Mysteries of the Unknown. Hmm. Mystic places. I'm beginning to think these mystic places do have special powers, like the Arizona-California desert. What's mystic about that? Read the book. Read about 500-year-old desert figures. Why were they drawn? Read the book. Read about the strange voyage of Cleopatra's 68-foot pillar. What happened? Read the book. Call now. Read Mystic Places free for 10 days. Keep it for $12.99. Other volumes will follow about every other month. Read them and then make up your own mind. So call now. And with your purchase, these power crystals will be sent to you free. The call is free, so are the crystals, and the book comes with a free examination. Now that's three frees. Now you have to call us. Random Acts of Variety. It's CTV's original comedy variety show. It's got jugglers. That's random. And comedians. They're an act. It's got the random actors. That's acting. And it's got interviews with famous people. That's specifically random. It's a virtual variety of virtuosos. Welcome to the Wienerville Army Base. Watch Random Acts of Variety, Friday at 10, only on CTV, the comedy network. Hey guys, I got this uh, puppet. Let's do that uh, little song and sketch about the lemur. All right. <clears throat> it's Joey the lemur, the friends of mankind. Our furry sort of monkey friend, he really does shine. Hey. Joey the lemur, he's really fun to have around. He'll huggle in, start to start fun stuff. <laughs> Joey the lemur, he'll run everywhere. Joey the lemur, what kind of heck of animal is he anyway? Um, uh, Joey the lemur, the kind of animal that would go to the bathroom Wait, anywhere. <clears throat> jo huh? But there's more. Okay. Hey. That's okay. Oh. This is the lemur, native to Philippines and Madagascar, uh, uh, and fictional planets like Nova. Uh, he is a clean, gregarious, and good pet. You said it, pal. Oh, boy, pal of mine, you're the one for me. Uh-oh, Joel, swinging into his puppet routine. Hey, can it, fire plug? Hey. I've had oh, enough oh, oh, out oh. of you. Uh, <clears throat> Joey, I got a story the, the to tell. Lemur. He'll say what he thinks. So oh, boy, will I on. ever. I'll carry on like a Gilbert Godfrey from the animal world. I don't mind telling you. You know, I'm the clown prince of the primate world who's often... To, who's often uh, mistaken for our friend the chimpanzee. But don't make any mistake. Uh, I'm not saying anything wrong about our chimpanzee brethren, only that I wish, here's wishing they'd throw a little more work our way, all right? Lemur, the lemur, L-E-M-U-R. Ah, hey. Hey, who's this bird dog thing? I don't like him. Uh, uh, L is for lemur. L is for lemur, enough said. E is for eat. E is for eat. I eat four times my own weights in nuts and berries, which has its consequences, but go figure. Uh, uh, M is for monkey. Yeah. Monkey. I'm often mistaken for a monkey. It goes with the term. Let's go. Q is for unusual. And unpredictable. Unpredictable is right. I once took a whiz on Johnny Carson's sport coat. I don't panel well. Okay, on with the show. Uh, uh, R is for radical. And rambunctious. Randy is a jackrabbit. That's me, all right. Woo! Yes, it's the splendiferous lemur. Grant to all mankind. Please consider me as a possible corporate symbol 
all mascots suitable and fine for any professional or semi-professional sport team. It's the, the magnificent lemur. I, the lemur, yeah. beg you to consider me. I w am willing to travel and would make an excellent companion to any elderly or unelderly elderly person. Gentlemen, please consider me. Thank you, won't you? Thank you. Movie Get off! Get him off of me, Joel! Hey, oh, he's all over Servo, me. fight back! Oh, I can't get that little oh. thing. Hey, what, get what that monkey that away from me! It's a lemur. They said in the film guide that, that he's gonna be in. We're gonna meet him later in the get film. Get rid of him! Thank you. Oh, I'm dead. Hold that thought. <laughs> Hi, remember me? I'm Satan. This is the first part of my three-picture development deal. We'll be right back. Now, here I go down her back. Watch this. It's a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot the snake, not the girl. <laughs> On second thought. Oh, well, that does it. Oh, right. Let's get There's off of this scary planet. What do you say we fix ourselves a place and sleep here? It'd be a lot easier to find our way in the daylight. Oh, isn't it daylight now? Hmm. Hmm. They all have cataracts. Oh, I understand. Maybe it's the planet of the midnight sun. And so they chop and slice and dice. And of course, they install beautiful Anderson windows. America, know how at its best. And the women helped in gathering up things and put it against the leaf. Saggy roots and nuts and diapers. Uh, why didn't they use the tent that they had in their backpack? Uh, they're artists. Oh. Yeah. Hey, how about that? Home sweet home. Really what a nice. sweet uh -huh. job. Come up to the front desk and register. Oh, what a horny old owl. <laughs> the owl footage is not what it seems. This is going to be real comfortable. Well, it's not the Waldorf, but it I like it. It is the Waldorf Fair salad, salad though. Okay. Well, let's get the packs. Now, Ralph and I are going to split the watches, three hours apiece. That should take us up until daylight. You girls got some sleep. No reason why we can't take a watch, too. Yes, there is. Oh, Dan. No arguments. Your girls. I get some sleep. Ralph, well, I'll take the first one. Okay. Wake me up a little early, will you? James. <laughs> well. Uh -oh. Boy, uh, burn a human body. There's not much left of them. Yeah. Oh, there's his ring. A couple of molars. They don't burn. <laughs> He's the librarian. Yo. Come on, you bastards. I'm ready for you. My God. Hey. I thought you were going to call me. I'm okay. You're okay. Well, as long as I felt all right, I'd stay with it a while longer. Hey, your microphone like cord's showing over there. there. Good night, old man. I'm 35. I'm not old. Get out of here. I'd still take you, buddy. Come on, you bastards. Come at me. Hmm. Nothing. Just little animals. Hmm. Uh, uh, oh. 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 Where's my man? What? You're not. You're not my man. My man. You must be outside. I know you're not him. Ooh, is that my stomach? Hmm. I better penny for your thought. I love the culottes. Can't you sleep? I need a glass of water. I don't know. It's it's just that I don't know. That I I feel so much. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got my... mm. They both awake with the worst breath of the Tell morning. Tell me, Doctor, do you still want to marry me? Huh. I would no, marry I you if you were one of three people on this planet. Clink! <laughs> Should we wake the others? I don't think so.
Do you like long walks in the rain? Chinese food? Mushing up your ice cream? Those little Necco wafers that they used to? Oh, never mind. Love me. I'm watching over you now. Procreate. <laughs> Hi, I couldn't help noticing your suitcase and your shoes. <laughs> Good scream. Sounds like an alligator mowing Bob. He's got a bounce. I can't believe it, Wally Carbo. There's a foreign object in the ring. He's going to do oh, a pile driver. Oh, 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 no. my belly. My nerve endings are all down there. Oh, oh. gotcha. Uh oh, it looks like Dr. Moto's got a stranglehold on him. Oh, oh. oh. that's not fair. Oh, he used a foreign object, all right. I was wondering if we could finish our walk la later. He's down. Oh, Ralph. Ralph, Ralph! Get out of the way. You had your chance. Ooh. Let's get him back to camp. Ralph is Ralphing. Look at that. Oh, yuck. Good job, Blondie. Huh. Everyone, Ralph's dead. <laughs> they are everyone. Here, just set him here on this body bag. I can't find a kiss there. It's smiling. Hmm. Get the kit. Get me the canteen. Get the canteen! Oh, oh Harrisman on the job. <laughs> I got that crazy. I gotta do everything like so yourself. No, you idiot, that's my saxophone. Get that rag wet. <laughs> oh. Looks like he lost the pie contest. Oh, Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> Nobody's fault. He's a chocolate anyway. mess. Mm -hmm. You know you're not supposed to leave camp. Hey, uh, you're spending a lot of time on that one nipple there. Sleep. You're going to move that around? <laughs> you got to keep a sharp lookout from now on. <laughs> ah. I very seldom show emotion too much. Well, I'm the happiest man in this entire world. I love the smell of gridiron in the morning. But guy. Bolster, Heyman, Sports Monster, 6.30 Eastern, Saturday. This year, the first name in suspense is Mortal Thoughts. Somebody help me! A great movie, far better than Sleeping with the Enemy. A tour de force performance by Demi Moore. I would never hurt anyone! A gritty and gripping film. And Rolling Stone calls it an emotional powder keg ignited by Demi Moore's vibrantly touching performance, Mortal Thoughts. What are you going to do? Scream? Rated R. Now playing at a theater near you. Check newspapers. At DeVry, it's the students that are important. It's great. You need to, you come here, and if you're serious about your success, you'll learn here because they take care of you. They really do. DeVry pays attention to details, whether it's financial aid, student housing, classwork, or job placement. DeVry cares. They really help me. Get DeVry's attention. Call now, 1-800-247-7800. DeVry, we're serious about success. Attention, music lovers everywhere. Now you can own 101 number one hit records in one extraordinary TV music collection. And here they are. Yes, all 101 of these original hit records can now be yours. Imagine, every song is a number one hit. Enjoy again, legendary stars and groups. I'm sorry. Come on, baby. Do the locomotion. Call this toll-free number and ask for 101 number one hits. You'll get Motown favorites. Rock and roll classics. They're all here at one of the lowest prices ever offered. Use your
your credit card or order COD. Call them. You get 101 number one hit records on cassettes or LPs for only $29.95. That's less than 30 cents a hit. Or hear them all on four long play CDs for only $35.95. This is a special price breakthrough offer. Operators are standing by. Call now. Feeling low and racked with shame? Let your pal Phyllis take the blame. Uh, what the hell? Catch Phyllis weekdays at 3.30 on CTV. Why watch 23 movies, 60 hours of television, and go to 97 comedy clubs? When you can get all the comedy you need in just one hour on Short Attention Span Theater. It's star of the hour. It's video star. Stand-up comedy like you've never seen it before. It's chock full of comedy from feature films and comedy entertainment news and tour dates. It's like 24 hours. CTV, the Comedy Network, rolled into one. Hour, that is. So don't waste time. Watch Short Attention Span Theater and get a life. Weekdays at 8 a.m. on CTV, the Comedy Network. Oh. Boy, I feel like I wrestled an alligator last night. <laughs> hey, what do you know? I'm all right, and now she's dead. Hmm? Uh oh breakfast time. Honey Nut Cheerios, guys. <laughs> yeah. Even balls. <laughs> I'm going to need a bigger shoe. We're going to get a bigger shoe, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm dealing with it. I got it. I, I got it, honey. It sounds like it swallowed a dolphin. Uh-oh. Need a bigger gun. Whoa. Ooh. Hey, solar eyes. I haven't seen a wasp that big since the Nixon years. That would be a don't be. Help me! Help me! Oh, where is everybody? Oh, they've gone. They've, they've gone back to the ship for supplies and equipment. Let's go. You've been unconscious for a day and a half. Oh, I don't remember what happened. You were hurt, but you're all right now. Help me! Help me! Oh. You've been here all alone? 80 foot bugs give Somebody me the creeps. Had to stay with you. Couldn't be left alone. Well, I'm all right now. You okay? Nah. Oh. I've got a headache this big, and it's got stock you know, footage written all over it. You've got to relax. Yes. Relax. There's a bee the size of a moose over there, and you want him to relax? Come here. Hmm? I need some medicine. Daddy needs his love medicine. <laughs> We shouldn't be watching that. Uh, I feel We're gonna be back. <laughs> we'll see. Try to rest. Tell the bee I love him. Uh, oh, now he's dead again. <laughs> and a center rotten thing of a stupid alligator pushing him into the stupid thing. Hey, what the hell? Uh, it's carry all this crap around the rocket. Kill it! Oh, kill it! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Is that your little friend, Joel? Yeah. No, I guess that's the lemur, yeah. Hey, where'd you pick this one up? <laughs> he jumped right out of Paul's chest. That that's Joe. Hello, Joe. What do you know? Hey, Joe. Go investigate the lady. Wake her up, boy. Hey. <laughs> He's hungry. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi. Boy, am I glad you're back. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good trip? Lovely, if you like walking. Uh, Anything unusual, Dick? <laughs> <laughs> What's unusual oh. anymore? <laughs> Saw something that looked like a Sherman tank, but it didn't bother us. Huh. Hey, who's the cook in the outfit tonight? I'll do it. Yeah, how do you like your lemur? Hungry. This one's been eating all day long. Mm, this Good. Good. He'll get his strength back faster that way. <laughs> so, we'll just uh, let this scene trail off then. Mm, I don't know about this lemur. It tastes kind of gamey. A little stringy. Yeah. They ate the lemur. Did you find anything today, Dick? Besides Joe, Joe I mean. Oh. Got a whole bag full of specimens. Oh. Here is oh. I figure this place will support a lot of people. What? If we had to stay here for any length of time, we should be able to live off the land without much trouble. Ew, she's eating Thanks, shoe polish. USA. <laughs> Me too. No. Hey, what are the plans for tomorrow? Oh, I thought I'd go well, to the mall. I thought Nora and I'd finish our tests and samplings, and then I thought... And then we'd... I want to take a look at that island. Whoa. All right, all right, we'll go to your damn dirty island. I remember some instructions about not separating. We haven't run into anything we can't handle, Ralph. 
You know, I think they all read too much science fiction. You know, they probably thought we'd meet some kind of super race up here or something. Yeah, no, we've met our large mutated animals. Why don't we all go together? That bee was pretty super Doctor, mm -hmm. you know better than the rest of us that you're in no shape to travel. That's right. Where is he? Oh. So, Nora and I will take one of the rubber rafts tomorrow and spend the day on the island. Hey. Pat, you... You do whatever work you can around here. Yeah, why don't you stay here and practice screaming? Uh, good, oh. but back at the throat, a little higher. Oh. Hi, remember me? I'm Satan. You never know where I'm going to pop up, but first a recipe for my pal, Ed Hurley. <laughs> Snake Dave, bug me. What are we going to do about watches tonight? I'll take the first one. I'll get some sleep when it gets light. Mm. Hey, I heard that business about the watches. Oh. I may be a little weak, but I can still handle a gun. Yeah. Oh, don't be silly, Ralph. You need to rest. Look, maybe we don't need a watch. Joe seems to be pretty good at shouting alarms. Hmm. Let's count on Joe for extras. Oh, we That's can't afford extras one. in this film. So, we'll just uh, drizzle out of this scene, too, huh? Yeah. <coughs> who, who, who could believe that this film was made? A normal-sized owl. Who'd have thought it? Yeah, crummy little. I have to sit up here. Where the hell did the bee go, anyway? I don't know. Oh, it be gone. <laughs> I have to sit here. Don't even have my roid cushion in anything. Really. Yeah. <laughs> Cute old lemur. Hey, he's eating his pen. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie. There, sucked on a little JD, buddy. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. Let's watch the fun, huh? Yeah, dig it. Come on, finish it. Chug finish it. it. Chug, chug, chug. Cannonball. Chug. Whoa. Hey. Save some for Daddy. You know, Daddy needs his medicine. Mm -hmm. Hey, give me some of that. I invented JD. Cute little guy there. <laughs> yeah, get away from me, you little rat. Uh -huh. uh, why don't you uh, wake up the girls so they can scream? Yeah. Mm. Uh, 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 it's a snare. Uh, snare. Uh, a snare. Uh, I'm filled with shame. Hey, no sudden moves, pal. While I'm ma ra making these guys sweat, here's Ed Hurley with another recipe. Ed. Thank you, Satan. Yes, it's Polynesian cheese devils. Fill your mouth up with half a craft hot dog, put ketchup all over your face, and then spit it back out saying, my tug, my tug. We'll be right back. Hey, is that a snake or is Steve just glad to see me? Hey, don't get any funny ideas, pal. I'm Satan. I'm rule. Ah, I've seen better. I wouldn't waste my venom on you. Join us next week on Craft Music Hall. Our guests will be Liza Minnelli and Desi Arnaz Jr. You might be interested in some of our other wide variety of cheese products. We at Kraft take pleasure in bringing you. Good night and God bless. Not. I gotta run. Ooh. Mm. Yikes. I just had this crazy dream. It was erotic. Mm, what a weird planet. Lemurs? Ooh. You tell them. I'm telling them. You tell me to tell them, and I'll tell them. That's telling them. Catch Steve Allen weekdays at 1 on CTV. A little cheddar makes a plain potato. Mmm, scrumptious. But without the cheddar cheese. Uh, no thanks. So add a little cheddar cheese. Ooh. Thank you. And add a lot of taste. Cheese makes all the difference. This is an important message for U.S. veterans discharged after 1940. Whether you served during peacetime or war and are currently age 50 to 69, call this toll-free number now for free, no-obligation information about a veterans-only term life plan that costs just $1 a week. These veterans life insurance benefits are guaranteed never to go down and they are available at the guaranteed rate of just one dollar a week. There is no waiting period. Benefits are paid from the first day of coverage. Call this number now for free information about this dollar a week veterans only life plan. Remember, only veterans, their spouses and widows age 50 to 69 qualify for this offer. 
Term life insurance for $1 a week. Don't wait. Call this toll-free number now for free information from Veterans Life Insurance Company. Hi, I'm Fred Willard. Watch me on Comics Only. I'll come to your house when you're out and rearrange your furniture. <laughs> Comics Only, 8.30 on CTV, the Comedy Network. Finally, a sophisticated intellectual game show. I think, actually, I'm going to break wind. Well, maybe not. Whose line is it anyway? Saturdays at midnight on CTV. Now, where is that tall tower? Are you sure you're all right, Ralph? Mm -hmm. In the pink, there's nothing mm -hmm. like a good, quiet night's sleep. Jeez, I'm sorry. Keep you more shame on me. You have to get back to the me. ship for any reason. The best way is along the shoreline of the lake. Mm -hmm. It's too easy to get lost going through the jungle. Nor are we better Some travel light. Got to pick up that raft on the way. By the way, there's a flare gun in each of those rubber rafts. If you're not back by dark, you better fire a couple. Mm -hmm. If you're okay, make it white. Oh, uh, Bob, trouble? you Red. got a little lemur. Better yet, just uh, stay out uh, of trouble. <laughs> and take good care of Joe. I'm getting very fond of him. Yeah, I saw him first. See you later, fellas. Bye. See you later, alligator. <laughs> <laughs> I love their culottes. Now for you, little lady. My lady love. This is my box. This is my radio. This is the case that I used to store my stuff. This is my microscope. I'll look through it. Maybe you can help me with this. Do you remember any of your chemistry? Enough to know about the chemistry between us. Whoa, Tom Grease, dialogue writer extraordinaire. Let's get this thing over with so we can get home. That time can't come too soon for me. Mm. Yeah, she's too ashamed to look at him. <laughs> ah, brought this big egg roll along. <laughs> Turns into a futon. You know... Honey, you haven't lived until you've been up to the chain of lakes up by Lake Mille Lacs and nailed one of the big jacks, you know? You're gonna love fishing up here, you know? We're gonna get a wall hanger. I'm positive of it, I'm, I'm sure. Did you bring the Uncle Josh's pork rind? Or some poppers, maybe, to get some crappies? Then we'll head into Rhinelander and maybe get some pizza and beer. I'll take you dancing. Hmm. Oh, cop, cop gone blind! Oh. oh. Somebody's having a blackout. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll just put in here by the turd pond. Mm -hmm. Well, the label said this was an inflatable bridge. Oh, nuts, it's a raft. Well, time to drown the lemur. <laughs> Boy, that guy really is into safe boating. Hey, good thing he brought his jimmy boat. Yep. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Come on, boy. Joe, come on. Hey, come shut on, up. I'm eating over go. here. Joe, come on. Oh, goodbye, Joe. Me gotta go. <laughs> me Ouch, gotta hey, that hurts. Come on. Let's shove off. Shove off yourself, pal. Oh, you guys are just plain rude. There's no excuse for it. Oh, oh, watch the merchandise, lady. Push me. Wee. Hey, we're almost there. It's a short trip. It looks pretty barren. This was your hmm? idea. What it is? Look at the flock of birds. Where? where? What? So where? That's where those birds? vultures where? have been coming from. There must be something on the island that attracts them. Hmm. Like it death? a little forbidding. Hmm. A lot forbidding, if you ask me. That shore doesn't look too bad. Let's paddle over that way. A little scummy, Aye, aye, Captain. Through the fill. Hmm. Arr, Jim boy. Arr. Arr. We stepped out of the boat into knee-deep scum. The rest of the film. Oh. Her socks love that, I'm sure. So, uh, what happened to the lemur? I don't know. It doesn't travel well. Uh, ouch! 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 Ow! Owie! This Just thunder. Oh, actually, that's jet noise. Oh, they'll fix it in post. Nice pan. Thank you very much. It's much colder here. Oh, hey, I thought you were my friends. Oh. I'll put the raft over there. Oh. On that sharp rock.
Hmm. Oh, Viewmaster. Hmm. Oh, sharp rocks. I'll have to tell Let's Liquid about on. that. Hmm? Here, take Joe. Here, give me him. I'll show you how to handle that thing. I learned this from LBJ. Come on. Hey, hey, come on. I got hands. Take it easy. Time for a nice long walking sequence. Oh. Oh, two seagulls, Gertrude Heathcliff. <laughs> are those normal size or real size? Uh, they don't tell us that. Nope. Hi. That was exciting. I can see them walking, and they saw two vultures. This is great. Learn anything? Yeah, you're the father. Lots of things. Like what, for instance? Like, for instance, you may be a wonderful doctor, but you're an awful patient. That's a privilege that only a doctor can afford. Hmm? Seriously, what have you gotten from all these tests? <laughs> Was that well, a joke? I don't know. There's lots of bacteria that exist here that don't on Earth. And it's all attracted to you. Stay healthy because there might not be a cure for them, right? Uh -huh. Right. And then? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What a desolate, forsaken place. What a stilted, pretentious that line. Really? Almost an animal roar. Still sounds like thunder to me. Um, I, you want to go uh, on? Lemur back? did a little number on Let's your shirt. I'd really, I'd really like to go back now. I think you'll find only evil here. I bring a message from Gorgon. He tells her not to come here. Please, I am a who are you? Please listen to the sacred writings I bring. Well, we're getting a lot of mileage out of that lemur bit. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Looks like a cave up on that ledge. Let me work the gun, please. Okay. Almost got an Ivan Tor series going here. Intoxicating. Oh, trombone. Must be 76 of them. I think there's 110 coronets right behind. Whoa! Look at that guy. He's beautiful. Here, boy. Come here. Come on. Isn't he cute? Come on over here. You want to meet Joey? No, no. I told you this would happen. Please. I'm a horny. He's evil! Lizards don't stand the wreck. Hey, watch it, I'm a herbivore. <laughs> you think he's getting paid scale, you guys? I oh, uh, huh? Well, that's it. Take it out on the woman again. My gun's jammed. Turn! Hey, throw me the lemur. That's all I want. Hey, please don't. I'm your friend. Come back. Come back. Well, throw me the girl. <laughs> An opening? There's a help wanted sign down there. Oh, that's a... Don't get him. Hey, and he looks slimy, but I'm pleasing to the touch. I'm friendly and docile, and I like long romantic walks along the beach. Oh, wow. Hmm. Ah, that's my rec room. Excuse the mess, just throw that skin anywhere. And before you take me into your heart, I should mention I eat my young. Did I say that before? Joe! Where's Joe? Hey, Joe? Oh, just minding my own business. I don't wear the events that are about to happen to me. I'll get him. Get yeah, go back to the lemur. And load it. You may have to shoot with that camera. <laughs> Darn fool, kid. Oh, oh. <laughs> Damn, lemur did this to me. I can see you. Don't get me mad. <laughs> have a little fire, scarecrow. <laughs> This is no time for love, Steve. Ooh. Hey, nice chest, pal. That hip bed. Ooh. Hey, can you believe it? I pay eighteen hundred a week for that place. Oh, dropping rocks. <laughs> oh, we got a split. Oh, yeah. huh? Okay. Yep. Oh, swing it up! It says yes! Take the shot! Count it down! And now it's...
it's time for another exciting episode of Emotional Scientist, starring Joel Robinson as Albert Einstein. Oh, let's see here. I've almost got the theory of relativity. Oh, that just makes me so sad when I... I can't do this, you guys. Like, uh, I don't... Joel, what's the matter? I can't, for one thing, I can't do an Albert Einstein. I sound like an East Indian. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't see why I always have to be the one dressing up in the dumb costumes. I don't get it. Uh -huh. What's the matter with you? Don't you know what it is to put on that grease paint, don that theatrical mask, get up on that stage and, and sing and dance your dear little heart out? <laughs> Bro, you are becoming so camp. You make me want to throw up. Now listen, if you guys want to go on with your little irreverent sketches and keep donning your little costumes and makeup, go right ahead, but just count me out of it, all oh, right? Now wait, at least you could hold up a title card for uh, us. Oh, okay. Jeez. Okay, come on, clear it, people. We got a sketch to do. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and now it's time for another exciting episode of The Emotional Scientist, starring Crow as Adam Curie. Well, I should be discovering the theory of radium pretty soon, I think, and then I'm going to go to that Jerry Lewis Film Festival. Oh, what's the use? I'm having a bad day. Nobody understands my needs. It's that time of... Oh, jeez. You know, Joel's right. I can't even do a uh, good accent on this thing either. I... Uh, oh, get this thing oh, off no. me. I, I quit. He's right. You're right. Uh, We've been fooled uh, to think that robots can be actors. We're yeah. trapped in outer space. We couldn't even go to New York and study with Uda Hagen if we wanted to. Uda Hagen. Come on, you guys. Please, don't be like that. I can't stand to see you so upset like this. I'm sorry. I know... I re okay, I realize that these sketches are important to you. I'm sorry, okay? Jeez, Joel. Okay. You know, it never ceases to amaze me how you continue to take personal inventory, and then when you're wrong, you promptly admit it. Oh, well, thanks a lot. I like oh. you guys a lot, too, and I know two robots and a human that have a sketch to do. Oh, boy. <clears throat> and now it's time for another exciting episode of Emotional Scientist, starring Joel Robinson as Jerry Lewis, Crow as Dean Martin, and Tom Servo as Enrico Fermi. Whoa! Secret Chimp. Lancelot Link, Secret Chimp here with my trusty troop of chimps fighting off the evil forces of chump and having more fun than a barrel of monkeys. So if you've got a monkey on your back, CTV doesn't monkey around. Ah, uh, enough with the monkey jokes. Where's my agent? I tell you, ever since Magnum P.I., I don't amount to a hill of beans in this two-bit town. I'm a serious actor. I studied Shakespeare. Gesundheit. Lancelot Link, Secret Chimp. Saturday mornings at 8 on CTV, the Comedy Network. Here's the kind of mind-bending question you can expect from Clash. How many wedgies were you personally responsible for in high school? Oh, Clash. Weeknights at 7 on CTV. Gillette presents Sensor, the system, the technology that will change the way you shave forever. Sensor, twin blades set on springs to read your face and respond. Independent suspension to sense and adjust to every curve of your face. No other razor comes close. Gillette Sensor, for the best shave a man can get. Be strong. Be confident. Be fit. Seize the opportunity. The power is yours. Power to mold your body. Power to look, feel, and be what you want to be. Grasp the power. Nordic Power by Nordic Track. Isolate, build, and strengthen your muscles with two way directional isotonic resistance. Work your muscles, both on the pull and push motion, for all the workout you can handle in less time. See the difference and feel the power. Nordic Power doesn't cost a lot. In fact, it gives you a more efficient workout than other muscle machines for about one-third the cost. Nordic Power. Call now for a free video and brochure. Discover how to look your best, build your muscles, and get the most out of life. The new Nordic Power by Nordic Track. Change your life forever. Do you like to draw, sketch, or doodle? 
if you do, you'll want to enter this month's art contest from Art Instruction Schools with over $8,000 in prizes. Here's how easy it is. Just call toll-free and Art Instruction Schools will send you this Draw Me Art folder without cost or obligation. When you receive it, simply draw one of these interesting characters and mail it back to us. Each drawing is individually judged and five winners are selected each month. The purpose of our contest is to find prospective students who are motivated and like art. Only amateurs are eligible and complete rules are in the Draw Me folder. So call or write today. It's fun and exciting and you could be a winner. To receive your free Draw Me Art folder, call this toll-free number or write to Art Contest and give your name, address, and age. Don't delay. Call this number now. Call 1-800-733-3700. What am I, chopped liver? Hey, cut that out. You're making me hungry. Satisfy your appetite with SCTV, weeknights at 1 on CTV. Well, see you later. Come here. Yeah. 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 Thanks for playing along, Joel. That was fun. Yeah. Oh. What's going on? Maybe he's going to get him for flushing him down the toilet? Yep, I think so. Uh. Goes. Hey, can't you see I'm working this side of the street? Get out of here. Wow. Are they going to fight over who tastes more like chicken? Hey, yeah. I'd like a piece of that. Please. Come on, you knuckle knob. Come on, I got ya. Hey, those aren't real tears. I've heard about you. Yeah, you're right. Nobody's gonna believe this. You mean this movie? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nastasia, kids. Oh, no, no. Fingers are right, though. Now we'll be playing by Marcus of Queensbury Rules. Oh! Oh, leaping lizards. Hey, thanks for the jump cut. <laughs> I'll just watch from up here. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the ref. That? That's the ref. Oh. Well. It's Saturday night at ringside, ladies and gentlemen, featuring <laughs> Gecko Roman Wrestling. I'm gonna make a handbag out of you, Gator. Ouch. Yes, folks, thrilled to the exciting, the most exciting fight of the pre-Cambrian era. Hey, I want in on some of that action. Ah, oh, wow. hey, oh. hey, hey, hey. hey, Mr. Lippert, I'm a fall. Get Betty White on the phone, oh, Joel. Oh, really? Oh, I feel sick. Give me that very pistol. What good will that Are do? thinking of Ralph and Pat? I hate to bring them into this. Better them than us. The only way out of here. I'm going to load up the Steely Dan. Ah. Stay right here. Don't move. You try to keep blacking out? Huh? The scene opens with Macbeth pacing the stage. Suddenly, he walks upstage and addresses the audience. <clears throat> tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. Get away, get away. Creeps and... I hear it, I hear it. Ah! Lizards? Oh, That's <laughs> terrible. You must get to the top. Oh. They insisted on doing their own stunts here. Yeah, the hill and fire my little magic gun. Uh. Ooh. Oh. oh, beautiful. Yeah. I Grand love finale. those flower baskets. Mm -hmm. Look, the flare. Hmm. A red flare, Pat. Hmm. That means in trouble. lizard wrestling. Red flare at night, lizards fight. Red flare in the morning, lizards take warning. Wow. Hey, uh, uh, Mr. Goodwrench, you forgot your car battery. Hey, right you want... Oh, sorry, I almost yeah. forgot. <laughs> you know, have you guys considered counseling? You know what this is? This is American tourist or gladiators. <laughs> <laughs> Suitcases. This is what happens to your luggage at the airport. <laughs> oh, you twisted my wrist, you bees! <laughs> 
You know, you, you do taste like chicken. Uh, Joel, we did that one already. Oh, we did? Oh, well, it's a callback. Oh, well, whatever you say. Now, how about this one? They're going to chew the fat for a while. Uh, I think uh, you better do another callback. Will you guys knock it off? I can't concentrate on my own lame wisecrack. Good. <laughs> Got a little uh, Hershey syrup. I might be dead, but uh, I won on points. I feel like I'm watching Mondo Connie. Yeah. Yes, twas beast killed the beast. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh! Hey, don't think I forgot about you. I give you half an hour to escape, and what do you do? You stay here. <laughs> You're mine. Well, anyway. No, you never really fish until you've been up to the chain of lakes and hooked into one of these big jacks, you know. And then we break out the hula popper. Uh, meanwhile, at the superimposed rocket. Well, anyway, we thought we'd go to the chain of the lake, maybe go to Lake Malax or something. Get some Uncle Josh's pork rinds, and then we could head up to Rhineliner, do some dancing, have some beers, eat some pizza, maybe go uh, to the uh, big snowmobile show. Thank you. Uh, you know how high that flare would have to have gone for them to see it? Can you believe this? Throw it into the ra You know, Tom, if you're looking for plausibility in this film, you won't find it here, friend. You're right. You know? Hey, they made it already. It resembles the Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex of Earth's prehistoric oh, age. It does. Sorry, no way. Tyrannosaurus Rex. King Dinosaur. Have breakfast with the king. Sorry. That's a lizard from this Pet World, guys. No, but just as similar ones dominated Earth 125 million years ago. It's like living in the past. It's an iguana. Come on. It's a good likeness, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Well, who cares? No one's ever going to believe us anyway, if we are. <laughs> That's a scientist for hey, you. Hey, help me. I don't like when you fight. <laughs> Meanwhile, three days later. But anyway, these there's some real big jacks on this lake, and I'm sure that if you... Just get yeah. some time to drown a few slugs. Hey, and have a... look, lemur scat. We must be getting close. Looks like Bob's. Listen to this music. <laughs> what of Paul's love for Lena? Will the lizards find peace in the There's valley? And what of little Joey the lemur? We'll find out this and more. What's he gonna do? Gollum to death? <laughs> uh, let me in there. If you come out of the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. If you come on, keep up with me. You come out of the woods today, leave your eyes. Teddy was having a picnic. Be there tomorrow afternoon at this pace. Who's this guy? Oh no. And that's today. Teddy was having a picnic. Take my hand. I'm a stranger with parasites. Why do you have to bring your shoes everywhere? Give me that photo. It's not a good likeness. Looks like my passport photo. That's the day the neighbors... Huh? We're closer. Yeah, the thing's lighter. In that canyon. Snack canyon. If you go to the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. Oh, come on, shut up. I hate that today. song. Well, you're the one who started singing no, it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Hey, come on, you guys. Sorry, I was doing a call there. <laughs> <laughs> It's an iguana, now shut up. Oh, something prehistoric. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, why do you have to be so, so negative? What with? That won't do any good. Run a mortar. Whoa! Hey, let go of my tail. I want to get down there and mix it up a bit. 
people do something. Anything. We've got to get to them. No, they've got to get to us. Okay, Joel, I got five bucks on the lizard. Get yeah, your money I'll out. Get your money. Okay, no problem. Hey, Crow, you're witness to that, okay? Uh, hey, I went in on this action. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll bet ten that okay. they're all killed at the end okay, of the film. Okay, I'm holding the money. Okay. Then. Hey, wait a minute. Wait this. a minute. What about our bet? That's not fair. Hey, you don't understand. I'm playing the part of the expensive middleman. This way, we all win. Oh, oh I see. Huh? I'm, I'm Jack. Jack. Benny. Weekdays at 1.30 on, uh, um... I'm trying to call overseas. I think I remember the number, but... Well, I'm not a B-side. So I call the operator. But it's another long-distance company, and she can't give me an international number. Hey, AT&T does. She says, you're not dealing with AT&T. If you miss dealing with AT&T, it's easier than ever to come back. Just call 1-800-643-5600 right now, and we'll switch you back for free. They kept saying how much money I'd save. Then I get the first bill. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I thought it was a typo. I mean, where were the big savings? People who thought they could do better than AT&T are coming back for the real value. You can, too. It's simple. Just call now and come back for free. It takes longer getting through, but I'm saving a ton, right? Wrong. You got to read the fine print. Well, not be I couldn't believe it. You're not dealing with AT&T. Oh, I am now. 1-800-643-5600 for dependable crystal clear AT&T long distance service. Call now and we'll switch you for free. You couldn't pick a better time to come back. There's something about ice cream. Picture my daughter Judy's first girl boy party. She wanted it so grown up, but the boys raced around. The girls moped till I let them make ice cream sundaes, bringing boys and girls together. There's just something about ice cream. I watched what I ate, worked out on my easy glider, and lost 75 pounds. This is actual footage of Keith's home video showing his dramatic weight loss. All across America, people have found that 20 minutes every other day works to firm all major muscle groups and helps to lose weight aerobically. I'm using my arms, my shoulder, my back, my tummy, my thighs, my legs. I get it all. Dual resistance allows you to adjust tension for both legs and upper body. I have tried bike, jogging, even racquetball, and Easy Glider is definitely the best. And this handsome unit folds down quickly for easy storage. Call toll free like I did to shape up and slim down with Easy Glider. Call toll free 1 800 726 6000. We'll bill your credit card three easy payments of $19.95 each. You get a full 60 day home trial with a money back guarantee. The total price, $59.85 plus $9 shipping and handling. So call now, 1-800-726-6000. This just in, naked women frolic in streets as money falls from sky. Uh, okay. And Car 54 is next on the TV, the Comedy Network. Buddy, if you pick at it, it'll never heal. Oh, whoa. Oh. Ah, uh, come on, lizard, come on. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Come Luck. on, I got money in this. Luck be a lizard tonight. Come on. Oh, I'm hooked in the braces. Oh, I'm hooked in the triple foot. I saw this on Midnight Express once. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. Whoa. That'll be a lot more fun on a toboggan. Ooh. That sounds like lizards dropping. <laughs> Sorry I tore your picture. Sorry I ripped your dress. Sorry I smashed your lunchbox. Sorry I broke your heart. Giant mutated lizards. Wish we had some pictures of it. Oh. They're running through dino scat over there. Master! Up yours! Uh, I mean, we'll be right there. <laughs> oh. I don't care if you are a lizard. That has to hurt. Get up there, you stupid, cool added little. Oh, will they make it? Sure, they're gonna make it. Or they're gonna die trying. Come on! Come on, you. Butthead. You know, guys, lizards were hurt in the making of this film. Oh, 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 ah, that's, that's almost a reversal. That would have been two points. Oh. Oh, I'm filled with shame. Oh, Rob. All right. Now that that's done, where's Lippert? I'm coming for you. Payback time. Yeah.
Looks like a Cajun cooking show. You all right? Yeah. Dad! Oh, honey. I brought the atom bomb. I think it's a good time to use it. Oh, that's your answer to everything. Just use the atom bomb. Hey, what's going on, peace friends? All right, set for 8 o'clock. Right now, it's now. 30 seconds to 8. Oh, oh it's a joke. <laughs> I win. <laughs> and I know where you live. Oh, wrong turn, friends. <laughs> uh -huh. big and oh, hey, what big. did he ever do? He was on the cover of Tarkus. Oh, okay, shoot him. This music sounds like it was written by uh, Laurie Strong, you know, the girl accused me of third grade. <laughs> <laughs> Even the musicians are mocking this film. Oh, oh someone can help Oh, I just want to be friends. Please come back, my friends. You know, sometimes my own species makes me feel ashamed what they're doing to these dinosaurs. Come on, let's go. Whoa! Oh. I'm your new boyfriend now. <laughs> Everybody panic! Ah. What in danger or in doubt? Run in circles, scream and shout. Whoa. There they go. Uh, calm and reassured. <laughs> oh, welcome to Pamplona. This week on Living Dangerously, hand-delivered atomic bomb. Green alligators, long-necked geese, and humpty-back camel, and I saw chimpanzees up there. Oh, I'm coming, baby boy! <laughs> wow. Get a load of this. Okay. How did they get him to shake like that? They covered him with shag carpeting. Yeah. yeah. Poor elephants. I'm not an animal. It's a good shot. Ah! Oh. You go out in the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. <laughs> Save yourselves, man. There's bomb back there. Yeah. This is the exciting run. Oh. Hey, it's the MGM lion. Uh, no, it's the leopard lizard. Okay, you beat me. Get out of here, you bums. Uh, take, uh... Why can't they stop hurting each other? Come on, man. Keepers, friends, wait for me. I'm wondering about Please. To the beach. Kind of like Dunkirk, isn't it, guys? I'm just a poor turtle. Help, Mr. Wizard, help! the other boats. Uh, I think that's for the lemur. Oh. Stroke, 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 stroke. <laughs> hey, get me. I'm a Hasidic rabbi. <laughs> Shalom. <laughs> <laughs> Paddle like you're on a Y50. Ah, wait. <laughs> no one got the joke. <laughs> yeah. I think he's just scooping water into the boat there. Hmm. Hey, anybody have the time? It's a little matter of an atomic bomb. Oh, yeah. Your careers are finally almost over. You'll never be in another film. You may end up in the psychotronic film, guy. Oh. Hey, isn't that where Bob Upchuck? Yeah. Looks like the Valdez has been here. Yeah. And there's something like these carrots in the water. Uh oh. You know, I think the film on this lake is better than the film we're watching. Yep. Oh, look, he's pushing her down again for no reason. Look at him. That's terrible. Jerk. Just tear at her now. Cheese it, everyone. Oh, don't forget me. Oh, they tripped over a burial mound. <laughs> How fitting. You just pull her by her hair. Oops. Damn. Ooh. Ah. That's the biggest firework of all. Looks like the beginning of Petticoat Junction. Petticoat Armageddon. Yeah. Shouldn't they be covering their faces or something or shields? Or... Yeah. Why? I don't know. 
nuclear blast fallout? Yeah. Uh, we did the right thing, didn't we? Uh, they'd never surrender. It was right for us to blow them up. Thanks for annihilating everything I know. There's well, you know, they're only two miles from the blast. Aren't they going to get vaporized? Hope so. Well, it's an atom bomb light, actually. One third oh. as destructive as our other bomb. Oh. Well, score one for Earth. Well, we've done it. Not a word of this gets out to the people yeah. on Earth, all right? We sure have done it. Brought civilization to planet Nova. Huh. Was that irony? Come on. This late in the Let's film. go home. <laughs> yeah, let's go home and grow some three-headed kids. Hey, uh, there's a certain glow about June. <laughs> it's, a. Uh, never mind. And so, with peace in their hearts and fiery death in the sky, they went home. Now we better Yeah. Kind of pretty in an ugly way. I like it. Back. That's the fourth Robert Lippert film we've seen in as many months. Mm -hmm. uh, remember Rob Rocket Ship XM, uh, Jungle Goddess, uh, Lost Continent, and now this one, King Dinosaur. I've never even seen a Kurosawa film. <laughs> Works of Francois Truffaut? Uh-uh. Not familiar with them. Sorry. Odessa Step Sequence? I don't think I know that one. No. And uh, yet I'm intimately familiar with a frame-by-frame -frame basis with a major part of one Robert L. Lipper's output. Why? 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 I don't Bro. understand it. I just... Uh... Bro, hey. Huh? Take it easy. Hey, it crawls right, there. Joel. You know, there's only so much that we can take. Yeah. Really. Well, the fact is, you guys might be surprised to know that Robert Lippert was quite an innovator in his time. In oh, fact, really? Uh, yeah, I've prepared a special presentation uh, using artists. No, 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 you no, don't. No, 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 no. Oh, you don't want to see that? Well, nope. fortunately, uh, Cambot and I have worked up a little uh, sound and light show. Cambot, cue that up. Uh, no, no, no. Hey. Let's stop hey. the music. Kill that right, Cambot, or I'll kill you. That's better. Well, I don't see why it would bug you that I would try to do such a thing. Because those artists' rendering musical tributes, I don't think so, Joel. Come on. I'm just trying to show you about... Joel, Lippert is not worth it. No. 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 Well, there's just one thing that he did that I would like to show you, because I spent like a lot of time in the shop working okay. on it. Here it is. Yeah. Show Robert Lippert toy. was the first filmmaker to ever use a thing called a theremin, and the theremin oh. creates a... Uh, Oh. A body of particles, and yeah. when you interrupt the particles, it changes the sound. You may have heard it in other uh, space oh, sure. movies before. Here, here, let's turn it on here. Hey. Let's try it. Oh. oh, that's rather pleasing, yeah. isn't it? See, Pretty neat. Whoa. Hey. Uh -huh. That's yeah. interesting the way it changes. Okay. Oh, well, like, uh, well, thank yeah. you very much for sharing yeah, your little you. toy with us, Joel. You can turn it off any time now. Thank you. It to get a little uh, thank you, Robert Klein. Thank you. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, okay, so uh, why don't you uh, take that down to your uh, cabin there, Joel? And... Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Joel, I guess it's up to us to uh, take care so. of business. Oh, just set that anywhere, Joel. Yeah. Hope you didn't break it. Well, uh -huh. so let's uh, read this letter that's down here. Yep, go ahead. Uh, uh, after he leaves, Joel, could you hey, please? Uh, so, uh, it says here. Uh, Joel, if it uh, bends, it's funny. If it breaks, it's not funny. Yikes. Okay, it says, Dear right. sirs, it's us again, the Misties from Milwaukee, with our weekly approbations of doom. As usual, we... Uh, thank you, Joel. We had a great time with the latest show. We wanted to point out a few things regarding the enclosed. Thank you again, Joel. Enclosed. Hey, they enclosed some scorecards. They can't but put these up. These are really wow, interesting. Cool. Now look, they, they actually rate us on a scale of one to ten on the movie, on sarcasm, on the invention <laughs> exchange, and they say host segments. Uh, what are host segments? Uh, I don't know. You got me on that one. Mm. Okay, now what are we supposed to do now? Uh, uh say something to the scientists. Oh, uh, uh, hey guys, you watching? Uh, how did it go? What do you think? I think we should go to the Kurosawa Festival at the Jerry Paris Cinema. What do you think, Frank? Oh, forget that. What about the theremin? Ooh. I have another idea. Ooh. Until next time, Jolie. <laughs>
a holdup in the Bronx. Brooklyn's broken out in fights. There's a traffic jam in Harlem that's backed up to Jackson Heights. There's a scout troop short a child. Cruise ships do and I go wild. Car 54, where are you? <laughs> Officer Tootie. Yes? Have I been looking to run into you for months? This is for you. A wrist what, for me? Don't you remember me? Foster, think Foster. I had that cigar store. <laughs> we caught you taking bets on horses. We had a padlock here. But we were just doing our duty. Are you kidding? That was the biggest favor any man ever did for me. I closed that joint, sold it for 800 bucks, and went into the stock market. Stock market? Look at that. 40 grand. $40,000. I've taken it all out of the bank, and I buy a Peruvian tin plate. It's a two bucks a share. It ought to go to a hundred. A hundred? No, I'm sorry. This money goes to the bank. Okay, it's your life. I suppose we have to have poor people, too. See ya. <laughs> Good pals. Officer Tony. Yes? Don't you remember me? I'm Tony. I come around a police station, shiny shoes. Oh, yeah, Tony shoe shine. I haven't seen you around. <laughs> I give up with the shoe shine. Now I'm in the stock market. The stock market? Right. I start with $800. Ba 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 boom. Ba 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 boom? Yeah. Hey, look, officer. You and the rest of the boys are always very nice to me. Buy Pratt Plastics. Is it good? Is it good? I'm putting everything in myself. Today, it's 50 cents a share. Next week, it's going to be $50. Gee. <laughs> 50 cents a share. How many shares do I get for $800? And if it goes up to $50, how many thousands do we make? Well, Harris, right. I can't count. Next, do you wish to make a deposit? Are you kidding? I never saw anything like it. Right out on the sidewalk, one policeman punching another policeman in the nose. Did I tell you? Did I tell you? You let a screwball loose with our hard-earned money. The stock market. He wants to gamble our $836 in the stock market. Gamble. It's showing faith in our country's progress. That's what it is. We're just following the footsteps of great men who bet on the future of America. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Fink Foster, Tony Shusher. The chair will entertain a motion to investigate, select, and buy stocks with our available funds. Do I hear a motion? I move that we have our treasurer's head examined. <laughs> Besides, that comes on the new business. Muldoon, talk to him. Gunther, for the last time, put, put it, it in, in the bag. bag. Put it in the bag. Everybody's cleaning up, and we got $836 laying there doing nothing. You know, maybe he's got something there. I got a cousin too dumb to come in out of the rain. He played the stock market, now he's got an apartment on Park Avenue. Now listen, I know Tootie's enthusiasm. Don't get sucked in. It's like a disease. You're out of order. Besides, you're not even on a committee. Look, everybody's making money on the stock market these days. Why should we be the only slob left out in the cold? Yeah. I say we take the money and put it in a stock market. I say if we do that, we'll be the first investors to lose every cent in the first half hour. Well, what makes it so sure? Because Tootie thought of it. That's the confidence I have in this man. You're right. A motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor, raise your hand. Opposed? Chicken. Motion is carried. Now, what was the name of that stock that Fink Foster, Tony Shushine, gave us an inside tip on? Peruvian tin plate and Pratt plastics. That's it. Come on, let's go and buy it. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, you guys. Okay, you guys voted to buy stock. Do it in the right way. Get some good advice. I have a cousin, Kevin, who works down on Wall Street for some investment counselors. Let me take you down there. Are you kidding? Fink Foster, Tony Shusai, told us that the stock is going to skyrocket. And that was yesterday. 
Every minute we spend here has probably cost us thousands of dollars. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm pleading with you guys for your own good. Let me take you down to those investment counselors. Their office is downtown. Clark, 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 and Hershkowitz. Clark, 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 Listening to that name just costs us two hundred dollars. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Fate Foster. What happened? I was arrested for panhandling. What happened to Peruvian tin plate? That's the market. <laughs> we'll put it all in prep plastics. Come on. Shine them off. Shine them off. Tony Shoeshine. What happened? I answer the stock market. Sometimes, blah, 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 boo. This time, boo, 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 blah, blah, blah. There's only one stock for you International Sulfur. International Sulfur. Is it safe? Officer Tootie, International Sulfur is one of the cornerstones of our nation's economy. If it goes, the country goes. Sounds kind of risky. No, oh, brother. The boy plunger of Wall Street. Come on, make up your mind. You're wasting Mr. Clark's time. How much is a share? $412 a share. Here. We'll take two shares. I'll write your confirmation. Did I do right, Francis? Of course. Of course, you're not going to get rich quick, but at least you'll be able to sleep night. It's four o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep. <laughs> Francis, I'm scared. Scared? I was the one who talked to boys in the buying of that stock. Yesterday I had over eight hundred dollars in my hand. Today all I have is a piece of paper. Gunther, that piece of paper says we own two shares of international sulfur. It's as good as gold. You heard what Mr. Clark said. So what? We didn't even know which Mr. Clark we were talking to. Clark, 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 Clark. Gunther. Maybe it was a clock that wasn't even with the firm. Maybe it was some guy who just slipped into the office when there was nobody there. He took our money, and he's off to Mexico by now. Gunther, don't be ridiculous. At least if we talk to Hershkowitz, we'd know where we were. There's only one of him. Gunther, you're in a panic. They're perfectly legitimate brokers. I told you, my cousin Kevin works for them. All right, now that it's out, I might as well tell you. Your cousin Kevin always looked a little sneaky to me. Gunther, you're hysterical. I can't help it, Francis. Here I haven't been treasurer two days, and instead of $836, all we own is two shares of something called International Sofa. Who knows if there even is such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Where's your phone book? Over there. Gunther, it's a giant corporation. It has a triple-A rating. They have plants all over the world. The only thing I'm sure it has is our $824. <laughs> That's a load off my mind. What? At least they got a telephone. Of course they've got a telephone. Oh, no. Now what? It just says the International Sofa Building. They don't have a street address now. I don't like it. It sounds phony. Gunther. Well, how come they didn't put an address down? I'm in a phone book, too. It just doesn't say the Gunther Dirty Building. Gunther. Francis, we should have checked first. We should have put the money in the bank. Now, you listen to me. We've invested our money in the safest stock on the market. How do you know? How do I know? Well, for one thing, I mentioned it to Captain Block this afternoon. And you know what? Captain Block himself owns four shares of international sulfur. He does? Captain Block owns four shares of it? That's right. Now, will you go home and get some sleep? Oh, why did you tell me that before? That's all I right. About. Good night. Good night. <laughs> now what? Francis. I just remembered. Captain Black bet on Nixon. <laughs>